Hey, it's Clint. Today I'm going to show you how to create a website in 10 minutes. This is the website that we're going to create today, and we're going to be using WordPress to create our website. The reason we're going to be using WordPress is because it's the most popular website builder online today, and it's by far one of the easiest ways to build a website. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find thousands of free website designs that you can use for your website. Okay, and to get started, we're going to use iPage for our host. And the reason I like using iPage is because it was ranked number one on consumer rankings. It's the cheapest host that I've ever found, and it's going to come with unlimited space and a free domain name. Um, and it also comes with WordPress, so you don't have to worry about installing any software on your computer. So if you click on the link in the description below this video, it'll take you to this page with a discount. And once you're here, click on the Sign Up Now button. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is register a new domain. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Clint's blog roll. Make sure your domain name is simple so that people can remember it. So I'm going to put Clint's blog roll. And then click on check availability. And the next step is to enter your billing information. Um, so go ahead and fill out your contact information and your payment information. Under purchase information, I'm just going to go with the 12-month plan since this is just an example website. I'm going to keep my domain privacy so that my website stays secure. I'm going to uncheck the website essentials because this is just an example website. You can check whatever you'd like. And then I'm going to go ahead and proceed to check out. Um, I'm going to pause the video while I fill this out and you can go ahead and do the same. Okay, and once you've signed up, come back to iPage and click on the login button here in the top right. And you should have gotten an email from iPage with a username and password, so we're going to use those to log in. And click on login. Okay, and then once you've logged in, the first thing you want to do is click on the File Manager folder under Website. And then the only thing that should be inside your file manager is CGI bin and stats. If you have a home.html or an index.html, check it and delete it. Okay, and then we're going to go back to our control panel using the uh, home icon in the top left. And next, we're going to install WordPress. So under the website category, you'll find the simple scripts icon. Click on that. Scroll down and under blogs, you'll find the WordPress icon. Click on that. And then we're going to install a brand new version. OK, and then in step one, make sure everything stays the same. Um, where would you like WordPress installed? That should be your domain name that you selected when setting up your iPage account. If it's anything else, make sure you contact iPage using the support tab. And then in step two, under advanced options, you can choose a new username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, username and password. In step three, you can select whatever you'd like. Since this is just an example website, I'm going to go ahead and deselect all three of these. In step four, click on I have read the terms and conditions, and then click on complete. and wait for your WordPress site to install. And once your WordPress site has finished installation, make sure you save your username and password, and then uh, we can log into our WordPress dashboard using your domain name backslash wp-admin. So go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you to a new window. And then we're going to log in with the username and password that we just created. If you did not create a username and password in the last step, make sure you check your email for the login information. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And it's a good idea to bookmark this page. Okay, and now our website is live. So if you click on the My Site slash blog in the top left, it'll take you straight to your site. And this is our website so far. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the appearance, the site title, 
I'm going to show you how to add posts and pages, and I'm also going to show you how to change the sidebar. So if you click on the My Site slash blog in the top left, it'll take you back to your WordPress dashboard. In the left hand sidebar, scroll down to Settings and click on General. And for site title, switch it to the name of your website. For me, it's going to be Clint's Blog Roll. Then you can add a tagline. Scroll all the way down to the bottom once you're done and click on Save Changes. Next, I'm going to show you how to add posts. In the left hand sidebar, click on the Posts button. Hover over the Hello World post and click on Edit. You can either edit or delete this post and add a new post, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this post. Okay, and this is where we can edit our posts. First, I'm going to go ahead and change the title of this post to My First Post. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a body. This is my first post. And then I have some placeholder text that I'm going to paste here. And then in the right hand sidebar, I'm going to click on Update. All right, next, we're going to add a page. So in the left hand sidebar, click on the Pages button. And there is going to be a default sample page. I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. And we're going to create a page the same way that we create a post. So I'm going to create an About Me page. Okay, and in the body, I'm going to put this is my About Me page. I'm going to paste the filler text underneath that just as a placeholder text since this is an example. Then I'm going to click on Update. And I'm going to create one more page. So at the top of this page, click on the Add New button. And I'm going to create a Contact Me page. And then here you just put your contact information. And then once you're finished, click on Publish to the right. And next, I'm going to show you how to edit your sidebar. So hover over the Appearance tab on the left-hand sidebar. And from the drop-down, select Widgets. And here in the sidebar, you can see that I have a search widget, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. I'm going to take out some of these widgets just so that I can show you how it works. Okay, and if you'd like to add something to your sidebar, you simply grab it from the widgets area and drag it to your sidebar. So I'm going to add pages and a calendar. Okay, and once you're finished here, click on the appearance tab in the left hand sidebar. And we're going to go ahead and change the appearance of our website. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Install Themes tab at the top. And here you can just click Search and it'll bring up all the free WordPress themes that you can use that WordPress provides. I'm going to go ahead and search for a theme that I already know I like. Once you find a theme you like, click on the Install Now button underneath the theme. And click on Activate. Okay, and once you're done, click on your website title in the top left. And this is the website that we've just created. As you can see, I have a website title, I have my tagline, I have pages, and I have posts. And if you look here to the right, you'll see that I have my custom sidebar. The difference between pages and posts, posts will show up in chronological order on your home page, and pages will never change unless you edit them. So I'm going to click on my About Me page and the Contact Me page.
Okay, next I'm going to show you how to find thousands of free WordPress themes and I'm going to show you how to install them on your WordPress website. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in free WordPress themes and click on search and then click on images. And here are thousands of free WordPress themes that you can use. When you find a theme that you like, click on the theme go to the website with the theme scroll down and download the theme as a zip file and save it to your desktop and I have actually found another theme already which I'm going to install which I showed you at the beginning of the video so I'm gonna go back to Clint's blog roll and we're going to go to the dashboard and then we're going to go to appearance and then go to themes and then click on the install themes tab and we're going to upload a theme from your computer so click on the upload button above the search bar browse for the theme that you downloaded as a zip file and click on install now and once your theme has installed click on activate and click on your website title in the top left and this is my new website as you can see I have uh, the home page the about me page the contact me page and my posts stay the same depending on the theme that you download your sidebar will change or it will stay the same um, in this case, my sidebar did change, but um, usually it will stay the same. And that is how to create a website. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. If this has helped you at all, please hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.